the bulldozer Max Tremont, the the eight-time Death Match Tournament winner, the former two-time world champion, the owner of H2O Wrestling, and if there is one podcast to listen to, that is the Death Match Russell Podcast. Let's get ultraviolet, motherfuckers. And good evening once again, fans. You're listening to the Death Match Russell Podcast. More than welcome to come on to every time you want to come on. Oh man, those girls pop good like this. Alright. It's a budget thing. Let's see what he's up to. Thank you, man, and thank you for giving me the time. Just tune in right now. And good evening, everyone. As I get set up here, you're listening to another episode of the Deathmatch Russell Podcast with my guest this time. This this time, yes. Tonight, excuse me, right now, Rick Recon, as he will be entering this weekend, the Titan Championship Wrestling presents Mount Olympus Rumble for the title is on the line. Are you set for that or what? I mean, it's like a huge spotlight for everybody. Like it's, uh, you know, everybody's going for that gold and i know you you're thirsty for it so you ain't kidding man you ain't kidding that would be my uh i've had a few titles that would be my first like main heavyweight championship so i mean i'm I'll tell you what i'm gunning for it i mean it's 30 uh, 39 other guys like this isn't just the <laughs> usual like 30 which is enough but you know you got 40 40 guys total in this and it's like the best of the best and the best guys on the east coast so this isn't like this isn't a a battle royal of uh a bunch of herbs this is like top guys you know yeah i I know i know and a couple of guys just been we've seen on tv just recently you know and they're coming making their local you know uh, recently on it a- a- w dark which is awesome to get you know to see our friends you know get a little stride and see what they're doing you know and we know that they're ready to uh, yeah. jump in jump in the ring too again come back and show us you know exactly which- I mean, we got casey navarro and you know stephen gibke like you know it's yeah. they're on a- w dark i mean you can you can kind of tell these guys are like real real straight up pros like the second you see them like you know mm-hmm. you know real recognize real so yeah know, i mean i mean i remember i I remember Gipke from the, from the early days of his career, you know. So it's like you know, like he deserved like a sh- time to shine, you know. Like everybody gets the time to shine, you know. And like Casey too, as well, you know, for like the youngest res- kid like on the scene, you know. Yeah. But yeah, no, but, that, that's uh, you but, know, but, you, but, you get your but run. you know what? <laughs> but you know what? You never know where you'll end up next, and that's the calling, you know. Yeah. Any opportunity that that presents itself is an opportunity for another opportunity and another to keep on going up. So you you always got to be you always got to be in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you, I I'm sure you would love to be on TV every day and perform and just fucking be like, yeah, I did it. You know, for the fans. Yeah, that's, not, that's everybody. Not, man. You know, not not the money. Yeah, it's all about the money and all. But sometimes, you know, really. It's just the wrestling is what's what you're after, you know. Yeah, exactly. On the biggest platform that you can do it on, that's really yeah. what it is. You know, mm-hmm. it's it's well, see, because TV, it's it's how you can. That's just how you push mm-hmm. your brand, man. That's the best way to do it. Because you have TV, it's just more people see you. The bigger your own personal brand is, that that's why like everybody is gunning for those those spots mm-hmm. is for that reason. Yeah. I mean, even, yeah, I mean, or, or being on a movie or something. I was just looking at the press. I was just reading an art. I was just reading an article. Leo, Leo Rush is now going to be in the Power Ranger movie. Really? Yeah. That's the new one. And they just announced, he just announced that MTV just picked him up for the, uh, the challenge show. So he's going to be on that. That's pretty interesting. No, that is. I, I think uh, obviously not just for his talent, but I think his personality, for any, any, his personality as a whole, just like they want him for that too. You know what I mean? Because I mean, mm-hmm. let's let's face it. It's about it's about viewership, and people want to tune in, and you know they they know he's you know, and this isn't a, a, an offense to him at all, no. but he's, he's got yeah. a reputation as a hot shot. So you know, people want to watch that, and I don't hate on that at all, man. You know, do you oh, get no. the money? Get your spot, go for it. No, 
I mean, hell, he's even an artist too, man. He has some cool, some cool rap songs. Don't get me wrong, man. He's got some cool tracks that are out there that he produces himself. You know, it's like, wow. It's like, come on. You know, you don't get that from a lot of guys in the business these days, you know? No, no, you don't. You really, you don't. know, that's some, that's some Renaissance man shit right there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're but not. man, so what are you looking so Every The whole car looks insane. I mean, top to bottom this weekend. It's yeah, you know, it, it's all every any match on there, like whether it's the the rumble itself or any of mm -hmm. the match, like title matches or just the matches that are on it, could be a show stealer. I and mean, you a scaffold match, a scaffolding oh, match. I know, like, man. Like, who does that? Like, I've they never do. seen one live personally. So, like, that's just in and of itself is a that's a draw mm -hmm. as a scaffold match. Like, I've seen that. <laughs> I. I of course, deathmatch. You know, I've seen a lot of that from uh, combat yeah, yeah. zone wrestling back in the day, and seen it actually a combat a tournament of deaths. And yeah, it's insane. It's an insane structure. You know, the way that they set it up, and it's close to the ring. I'm sure it's going to be right against the ring. You know, like yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Hopefully, once. hopefully they have that ambulance on. Uh, God forbid anything happen. Hopefully they have it right there because that's yeah. That's yeah, that 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 could be a scary scene too. We don't want another injury on the, uh, you know, another wrestler to be flown to the hospital. You know? Oh God, yeah, no, I don't want that at all. No, no, but you know what, Vinny, we we know him from. I mean, he's a local guy that's been deserved it when he got the rumble. You know, when he won that rumble, and uh, you know he's stepping into the ring uh, versus Wailing. You know, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think Vinny can die. I think he's one of those guys that's just, just like, how are you not dead yet? And he just won't. He just won't die. Mm -hmm. so, no. So no. I, I. I don't know. I. I kind of have some money on him. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like no offense to Waylon Cage at all, but no. uh, hey, right. Vinny is. Uh, he's that guy that can just get it like, mm -hmm. like that. So. And have you have you wrestled him at all? Have no, I haven't. I haven't ever. Never really? Wrestled. No, I just know like his reputation, and I've seen plenty of his matches in person. So that's mm -hmm. what I mean. He could, he could. He's that guy that like people will go, oh, you know, just get his ass kicked, and that's it. No, that's a guy who'll get his ass kicked and then pull out that win too. So, so, so Vinny, if you're listening to this, you know, open challenge anytime. <laughs> oh, you know. oh, I'm with it. I take all comers. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. There's so many guys on that roster that you could go go right through, and you want to, you know, it's like you have the potential, you know. But, but you know, Saturday night you're gonna prove yourself, you know. It's it's who stands tall in the ring, you know. To exactly. The, one, exactly. the last two, the last two guys in the ring, you know, one by one they got to go over that rope, you know. Yeah. Like the class, the classic rumbles, you know. Battle Royals, you know. Yeah, this this is like our version of the 1992 Royal Rumble, where the title mm -hmm. is up for grabs. Mm -hmm. So with Flair one, yeah, that's what I feel. This is kind of our version of that because most mm -hmm. of the time, you know, it's it's for a shot at the title. It's not the title itself. Mm -hmm. So this, 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 this but, makes it special to me. But you know what? I wish I wish this was the uh, double ring. I never got a chance. To, um, next summer, the double ring comes back. I'm gonna go. I heard that. So those are cool events like they really are double rings yeah. together it, it was kind of a trip to 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 yeah you know be in it uh i mean i wasn't in the rumble itself i was in like but, a match prior but yes you could see a guy's going from one you know ring to the other jumping over and everything mm -hmm. and it, it, it can get pretty it could get pretty insane when it's got two rings because you just have that much more room to yeah. create chaos you work with yeah, and yeah. It, also you gotta be careful with that, you know, the gap right there because it <laughs> you could really twist your ankle or you could yeah, really, yeah, you know. yeah. Hey, yeah, and you know what? It also for a rumble, your feet touches the ground, technically mm. you're out. You know, yeah. I don't know if you're gonna enforce that, but you know, I would I would be the mm. guy to enforce that. Mm. But. Let's Rick, let me ask you this. How many rumbles have you been in in your career? Oh my gosh. I've, like been, I've been in a few, like three, four, yeah. honestly. Um, I, I feel the key to them is it doesn't really matter when you go in. 
it's obviously it's more if you last uh it's endurance you'd be surprised like a lot of people think that like oh you're just there you can kind of just sit in a corner or whatever but not if you're in there for a long time like yeah that, you could have out man it really does i mean i've gone from being the first guy in in a 30-man rumble to being in the last like three mm -hmm. and man it, it takes it out of you even if you're conditioned for it so you got 40 guys now and you got some, yeah. some big boys are going to be in there you mm -hmm. know you got titan killer you got the meadowlands monster you got a few big dudes in there that are gonna they're gonna throw their weight around and you gotta, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got to take them out. I mean, you gotta think you got, of like big show type. Get them yeah, out. You got, and, you got wrecking ball. You got magic. You know. You I think, know. Any of those like, guys, yeah. And anybody and everybody, you know. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. That's just gonna be a cool rumble. I mean, rumble wise, you know, it's just gonna be oh, great. Yeah, it will. And I also feel that like it's not just gonna be a rumble too because. You know, Titan, there's going to also be a lot of people that are going to run into each other that don't like each other, that mm -hmm. like they've wrestled each other in singles matches or they have personal issues or heat or hatred mm -hmm. with each other. And you're going to run into each other in that rumble. And now you have gold on the line as well. Like, there's, oh. like people don't go at each other. Like, mm -hmm. I tell you what, if I if I run into Blaze Haram in that, I'm, I'm going to kill him because, you know, you kick me in the dick with your hooked boot, man. And like he, he just keeps on screwing with me. So I mean, if he's mm -hmm. listening to this, like I, I, you're gonna get fucked up, dude. Like straight up. Yeah. You come at me, fucked up. Yeah. I mean, Rick's fucking thirsty. Like I said, you know, you're ready for it. It's, it's gonna be. It's just. It's an adrenaline rush too. You got all those guys in the ring to, you know. But then you gotta, you gotta tag with the, you know, you get you. Oh, I'm gonna gang up on this guy with this guy. You know, you, you know. You gotta play like the heel kind of, you know what I mean? You gotta reverse play, yeah. play along, you know. Yeah, you have to. You there's no you can have a loose alliances quickly, mm -hmm. but like don't don't be true trusting of somebody because you know mm -hmm. they're they're just as likely to grab you by your tights and chuck you out as to help yeah. you, you know, mm -hmm. survive. So, so just link, you yeah. know, just just grab just grab the ropes whatever way you can. That's all. Just be creative. That's be it. creative. Just, just don't just don't go out. That's no. it. Don't go. I mean, you you know, if you got if one foot touches the ground, you're fine. If it's both, you're screwed. Think yeah. think of uh, Sean. You know, Sean Michaels, 1995 and 96 with the Rumbles. <laughs> mm -hmm. He almost went out several times, but he survived. Yeah, or Kofi Kingston, you know, Kofi. 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 Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> he's, he's, he's technical. Yeah, yeah. Chairs to ladders to tables to the desk. Oh, my God, it's like you never know. So the rosebuds, remember the rosebuds going around, and he they caught yeah. him and threw him back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, There's a random crowd of people. I'll do that. All I'll right, all right. You know, uh, <laughs> hey, I'll help you out. Right. I got my back. Sure. I'm with it. Thank oh, you. oh man, I dropped the I dropped the hundred dollar bill on the ground. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Just hold on a second. Stay right there. Stay right yeah. there. Use your back. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. It, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Be like, yo, come here, Russell. Come here. What? <laughs> uh, I'll you hold know. you to that. I'll I'll look for you too. So uh, I'll be right there in front row watching you. I'm gonna be recording it too. So. You're gonna be right. recording your action, and I'll send you your, your footage, of course. So, so like making those little that's no always, problem. That's always appreciated. Yeah. So who uh, who trained you, Rick? Who was your trainer? Uh, this guy, uh, kind of an indie name. He's been around. Uh, Shockwave the robot. Mm -hmm. Feared him. Yeah. He he's been around. He's he's done Mexico, Japan. He's been throughout the Northeast and everything. That's who trained me. Uh, he was, a, I have a love hate relationship with that guy. Mm -hmm. Like I, I have a, I do have a lot of respect for him, but he, he's, he's very, he's an odd bit of an odd character. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, he's very uh, strict when it comes to like, when he came to training, like if you oh, did it exactly the way he wanted it done, you had to do it again mm -hmm. and again. And again, oh, I mean, I, I, I was, I was, I, I got a very uh, tight relationship with, uh, with Advil. 
from, yeah, from yeah, some I, training sessions, I tell you what, but he, right. he, he built, I will say this, he, he's Shockwave the robot, but he built another machine. Mm-hmm. So I, I'll give him, I'll definitely have a debt of gratitude for that. Uh, I'm reading the, I'm reading my chat messages and we have only one fan watching us right now. Uh, Paul the Insane is watching. Paul the Insane. Paul the Unknown fan. I go to the ring with him. I hang out with him at the shows. He's a good dude. He's he's uh watching. So yeah, Paul, you, you want to be yeah, you're going to the ring this time, Paul, not me. So, <laughs> That's that. That's the dude from uh, New York. All the way drives all the way up to the. That's awesome. That's dedication. That's dedication for a wrestling fan. You know, like that is shit. far, man. That comes all the way out there from from Pug- that, Poughkeepsie. Yeah. I know all the way in Pug- Poughkeepsie. New wow, York. Poughkeepsie, all the way down there to like what Central Jersey, South Jersey. Yeah, man. Uh-huh. Give him a hand for that, for real. Yeah. Like that's thank you. Yeah, and who buys his tickets for him? Hey, Dave. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Just a pickup yeah, ride. So to go the, least, the least we can do, man, for coming down that far. My yeah, Lord. yeah, yeah. That's well. yeah. But the last show, he almost his car almost died. <laughs> oh, that's the worst. Yeah, I've had that before on the way to shows. I've had that leaving a show, running out of gas, mm-hmm. and thankfully, like it stopped right in front of a a fan's house that went to the show and was like, Hey, you okay? You need gas? Can I just and jump in? Or, yeah. Or <laughs> can I just jump in your car with you? I need to get to the yeah, show yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, first, what was, uh, what was your first experience to wrestling as a kid growing up? Like going to a show live. Oh, I, I was, it was a little different for me because I didn't grow up in a house where wrestling was, watched or appreciated uh i started watching it when i was about 15 or 16 at a buddy's house Mm -hmm. like i knew what wrestling was but i didn't watch it i didn't understand it and he turned on my monday night raw i want to say it was in maybe 2006 uh Mm -hmm. and it was it ended up being john cena and jeff hardy if i remember on monday night raw and i thought Mm -hmm. it was cool i was like that's kind of interesting uh, I casually watched it, and then uh, I want to say it was about 2007 where I really started watching it, and it was mm-hmm. when Edge was the World Heavyweight Champion on SmackDown, and mm-hmm. Undertaker was gunning for the title, and he had La Familia around him and everything like that, and he was mm-hmm. had the whole program with Vicky as his wife and all that. And uh, I don't know what it was, like... Mm-hmm. I hate it because, of course, you know, I'm, I'm not understanding kind of yeah, yeah. work. Mm-hmm. I got it, but I didn't at the same time, you know, mm-hmm. uh, but I'm watching. I'm like, yo, Edge is a, such a bastard. I can't stand this guy. Yeah. But I liked him at mm-hmm. the same time. He was just so cool, you know, and then obviously underta- I see an Undertaker and I said, was like, holy shit, this guy is so mm-hmm. just, I, I his, couldn't like yeah his gimmick. I mean his gimmick was like the real like a real deal, like almost like a 24-7 thing almost, you know? Like yes. Yeah, like, it was the it was the presence. I still get I still get mm-hmm. anytime that you hear the the gong, I still get the goosebumps. Like mm-hmm. I don't, it doesn't matter how many times I hear actually it. They, actually they just released some doc, a little documentary about uh Paul Bear. Oh, no, I already watched it. That. I that already watched good. it. It was pretty good. Yep. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Good. It was really without. Yeah, they they were right. Like without Paul Bear, I don't that Taker wouldn't have been the same. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. No, I've been mm-hmm. pretty much watching through Thirty Days of Dead of the Dead Man because you know mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm always been Taker has always been the uh, for me go to go yeah the go to guy yeah. was always the goat to me. Um, mm-hmm. That's just personal opinion. Edge right. was pretty close as far as like a guy I emulated. If you kind of mm-hmm. like see like my style, you can kind of tell that I really like really followed Edge and was always a fan of him. Mm-hmm. But that was like what really got me into watching it was that program. Um, and then it obviously was years later uh, when I was able to find like a decent wrestling school mm-hmm. because I, I, you know, I did like the backyard thing like once or twice. And I said, oh, this shit sucks. This shit hurts. Mm-hmm. 
You know what I mean? But I'm like, oh, I figured I probably got to actually train to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, I found school and that's that's that was it. And I started doing it. I've been doing it for about it's close to about five years at this point. Closing in on five years, I started yeah, training. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Just, yeah, yeah. 26, yeah. January 2016 is when I started uh, mm-hmm. training. So mm-hmm. the first year was mostly just training, a couple matches here and there against Shockwave. And then after that, he's like, there you go, kid. Find your own bookings. Okay. I did. Yep. And you made out good. And, you know, that's what it's all about. You know, getting that spot, you know, on a – main event or just on a mid card or, you know, whatever it was back in the, you know, in the, you know, yeah, days. It was, just it to was, get, it was just to hustle. Yeah. Yep. The hustle, you know? show, curtain jerker, but mm-hmm. you know, I, that still sets the tone for the show. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I took every booking, every opportunity that was out there. And he like said, I, I tried to make, you know, I've been trying to hustle it and make that name. You know, mm-hmm. get seen and everything like that. Get the experience, and then obviously, you know, mm-hmm. getting your name is also not just about your name being out there, but the quality of your name. You know, that was what I I've really focused on the last couple of years. Was like, all right, let me give them the absolute best match they could possibly get out of me, mm-hmm. and I've had some of the best matches, my absolute favorite matches over the last year, even mm-hmm. during COVID. I had some of the best matches this year, and everybody's like, "Oh, 2020 suck." It did. It but really you know did. What? It did, but huh, give you a chance to but get out there and wrestle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had some of the best matches I've had. Um, hell, me one of the one of my last ones. Uh, well, this past weekend, as much as I hate him, as much as I hate <laughs> Haram, I mm-hmm. can't stand him. I hate that son of a bitch. Mm-hmm. But you know what? We. I, it's probably the best match I've had. Mm-hmm. Like ever, like that match, it was brutal. Mm-hmm. It was brutal. I mean, the guy, the guy ripped my inside of my mouth open. You know, I mean, we, mm-hmm. I, I spit, I spit my own blood back at him. Mm-hmm. I can't stand him, but it was one of the best matches I ever had. Uh, last month, uh, Nico's Ricos, we beat yes. the shit out of Piss him. Out of, you did. That was a hell of a show. There was no, no. Anyone that like anyone that wants to say it was fake, it was not. It was. We were marked up. Everything hurt. It was not. It was no joke. Like we were like, uh, and, I'm, and I'm as a fan. I was like, wow, this show sold out. Holy shit! Like it, like everybody kept on coming. They just kept coming. Like that's good. Oh, it, that show was awesome. It, it was really was. Awesome. It was full. It was this like it, it was. I was very. I was. We were all so like like wow. Oh yeah, shit, we put this place out. Like we really, really did. And mm-hmm. the, the crowd was like. Once they got going, they they kept going all night, and it was it was. I, I'm very very happy, very blessed that to be part of Titan because they now always now we can now we can show. talk to each other in public too, which is awesome. Also, you know, <laughs> yes, exactly. You yeah, know, I know. Titan was just like it was. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad to be part of it. And they are, because yeah. You know, I'm gonna be, X-Men, I'm gonna be linking. X-Men, I'm gonna be 2021. I'm gonna be gonna be sponsored. Big. T- I'm gonna be working with them. You know, really want to get my yes brand out yeah, there. They're great people. They are awesome. On top, of not just good shows, but good people. Because like, that's another thing a lot of people don't talk about is like being mm-hmm. good people. Like Billy, Charles, you know, Chad from Standalone Chad. Wrestling. Like. Mm-hmm. They're really, they're really good people. They are, and uh, they are. You know, they, they do. What they, it, where like, do you get the best? Pa- where do you get the best talent? <laughs> like, come on, like, yeah, look they at, really look, do. They, they pull on everybody that's good, and like, like we got this. Let we got this guy, you know, from former wrestler, but two, you know, we got one of the. <laughs> it's gonna be insane to see him again. You know? Oh, Alpha Junior, yeah, yeah. Um, he's gonna hurt a lot of people. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. I, I I hope I cross paths with him though. I really do. Yeah. Uh, no, it's the thing about Titan is like it's there's not a lot of wrestling going on right now. Like from and this is coming this is coming from a wrestler. Like mm-hmm. if you're on these shows, like you're blessed. You really should be thankful for them because there's not a lot of wrestling shows going on. Not a lot of good 
professional wrestling shows going on yeah. right now. Titan's one of them. They always deliver. They always do it right by the book. And listen, they they you know they what? COVID is a H really shitty H situation, but also they make also, it H also H2O is really yeah. running a lot of a lot of good shows as well. This, you know, they're doing it too. So <laughs> yeah, no, that, that was one of the places I wanted to check out. Like, I mean, their talent is like fantastic, mm -hmm. like top of the line talent. So that's the other thing is like, there are places that are running yes. safely, properly the way they should be. I know Synergy was one of them. Monster mm -hmm. Factory is another one. Like, yeah, I will say right. about, like the majority of shows that are run in New Jersey are on point mm -hmm. because, and I'm from New York. But I will say this, that uh, New Jersey's got New York beat when it comes to running shows properly. Yeah, and, you, and, 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 you think about and you think about promotions that are top-notch, like on TV, travel, Game Changer Wrestling, you know, like GCW. Yeah, and, exactly. My God, you know, even ICW. They're, they're in Florida that no holds barred this weekend, you know? Like, my I God. Know. It's, that's that's rough like because like i mean you know it's the, the type of wrestling that icw is obviously they do a lot of deathmatch stuff and but for it's them, not, for them but to it, keep it safe is like cool what do you think of the con what do you think of the concept of that is that pretty cool like it's like no it's it, like it a, is it's like a pit they brought back like the old combat lion's style den. yeah kind of like the lion's den like owen hart and ken shamrock i mean i saw that i was like this is insane. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, I, I know everybody's like, oh, Rick Recon, he's the wrestler guy. He's the pretty boy. Well, they're pretty mm -hmm. well, yeah, bro, getting that cage and sort of full fuck some people up. And they, they, I mean, there's a wrestler, <laughs> what, <laughs> Nolan Ryan. Ryan. I mean, what, there's that guy, Nolan Ryan. Man, look at that. He's a young uh, yeah. guy. He's yes. kicking ass. You know, he's, there's some talent that uh, people don't know, you know. Just yeah, like nice getting out there. Yeah, that's all you got to do. You get out there, you get your name, you get that one opportunity and that one time to shine, and you deliver, mm -hmm. and then it's there, and you just you take it and run with it. Yeah, I mean, could you see yourself doing something like that for the hell of it? Just, just I, I, uh, I think so. I think so for the right with the right, with the right opponent, right? Mm -hmm. You know, money. Yeah, yeah, I do. Mm -hmm. I, I can see at least at least once cross it off, kind of like. I did it off the bucket list. I did one, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then say, yeah, I did it. I survived it. And uh, mm -hmm. I kicked ass. Sure. Uh, I can see myself. And, and you look at guys who are doing it, um, actually, who, who who have not been signed, which I'm very shocked, like Dominic Greedy, you know? Yeah. Dom There's a <laughs> lot of guys. There's a lot yeah. of unsigned talent that I'm like, yeah. why are they not signed? Or I'm thinking MMA, MMA or MMA or, you know, peak up, yeah, you know. yeah, yeah. I, I think some of the guys, honestly, it's not of a case of if they're going to get signed, it's when. Because sometimes it really just comes down to, all right, does so-and-so promotion have mm. a spot for that guy? Do they have a role for that guy right now? And sometimes they already have had that spot filled or they're like, not yet. And then, mm -hmm. believe me, if you're out there and on the radar, they they all contact you if they need you. Like mm -hmm. that's just how it is. Like there's some guys that like they've waited forever to get that spot, but once they get it, they fit right into the role, and it's it's off to the races, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like the people that get signed on an impact, and you know, like they're just there till they, you know, and then they go. Like I'm just reading, like they're getting releasing the rascals. You know, they're getting released. Those three guys really? get released. I, yeah. thought, I figured those, like, I'm surprised because, like, you know, I mean, they, they could have been released for any number of reasons. I don't really want to, like, speculate on that. But, like, no, no. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I like, they're, they're, the one thing I really enjoy about them is while I might not have that same style, they, they do can, tend to be kind of spotty. And that's not mm -hmm. an offense to them again. But no, they're no. very they're spot guys. But they, on top of that, they have a gimmick. And their gimmick is over. I'm sorry. Like, it just mm -hmm. is. It's 2020, bro. They're yeah. all about 420. And But you know what? That's their gimmick, and it's great. 
it works with everything that they are. I believe their characters. I'm like, wow, these guys really are like token it up while they're there. It's fan. It's great. And so mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised that they would, but mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll go somewhere. That's you know? what they're saying. Yeah. That's what I they're saying. Well, I wouldn't be surprised if in like two weeks we see them on dynamite or something. Cause they'd fit right in with that. Or, Hey, who knows? You know what they, you know where they could be going. I noticed a lot of tag teams have been getting released that world tag league that new Japan's doing. Yes. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they went there. Cause there's been a few tag teams that got released from like different places. And I was like, they, why, why are you guys letting them go? They're going to mm -hmm. end up there. F, like uh, FTR, mm -hmm. FTR is leaving AEW. They're probably mm -hmm. going to world tag league because they're probably going to go to new Japan. And it's like, it's know, like MLW. It's like, it's like MLW. They're always releasing talent, you know? Like you just hear about yeah. these guys, you know, like here's Jordan Oliver. I mean, there's a character that's been, there's a kid who's been in the business, you know, and he's should be yeah, somewhere yeah. else, you know? Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's and He's good. Like, I know a lot of people like, you know, mm -hmm. probably thought he wouldn't go anywhere, but he, mm -hmm. he made him, he made his own niche. You know, I, I worked him in a, a, like a four on four tag match. Mm -hmm. One time, and he, he's really like he's smooth in the ring. He's really good. Yeah, you he know? had a good. He had a good. He actually had a good match at the collective with uh, uh, Chris Dickinson, I believe, or just the last week's show at uh, Game Changer Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, the collective that that was a uh, uh, just kind of seeing clips from that. Like the from that show was, was pretty. That Don't, whole it, yeah, it was show good. was insane. I mean. I, I would, you know, I would have loved to have been a part of that, you know, hopefully in like, you know, maybe next year or so if mm -hmm. they do that again uh, to do that, because that it was great. I, I, what I loved was like a lot of the talent did multiple different uh, promotions and, and yeah, that's, that's so cool. That's, 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 show. that's what I like. Yeah. It was like a variety. You, you had a variety yeah. of shows. I mean, because you had your top shows that people don't really realize these are promotions mid south like mid wrestling like you know all these like wrestling companies that people don't even know exist and their top top notch talent come out of there you know yeah and it, and it gets them all out there and everything you know there there's certain and there's certain places that like certain fed, feds that I feel that like once things sort of go back to whatever new normal we have now mm -hmm. uh I feel that like some of them would really benefit from being on there. Like there's the, the one that I work for in uh, Jersey, uh, Brie Combination Wrestling. Like they're, the talent that's on that, mm -hmm. like there's no reason why they could, that promotion. And the, the, the promoter, he's, he's, he's a great businessman, Anthony Cole, awesome businessman, awesome guy. He's always willing to work with, you know, all different kinds of promotions and make it work. So just that place mm -hmm. alone, like, there's so much. I mean, their their champion Darius Carter, like Darius Carter, great. like Darius Carter, yeah. dude. The guy's been around. The guy's been everywhere. The guy like probably should be signed somewhere. I mean, yeah. again, like why isn't he? Because he's like he's just so different from what you usually see like on TV, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, that's that's actually a guy I'm hoping to run into in the ring. And go at it at some point, but like so Darius, yeah. Darius oh, that's what we should see. Darius at a Titan event. Mm. I'm that with it. I'll, I'll, I'll welcome him. I'll, I'll be the yeah. welcome committee. You know, so why not? He, he He's a run his mouth a lot and 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 trash on me for being a pretty boy, but uh, pretty boys uh, can still beat your ass. So that's I'll it. welcome him yeah. gladly. Yeah, but you know what? We could call it a night. I think we're done. How's I'm that? Good. I'm good with that. Yeah. I mean, I could keep on talking, but you know, I, know. I, I, feel, go I, I feel we hit all the points. We, we did. Points. We, too. we did. Uh, and you know what? And we'll do a follow up after we'll do some, we'll do some stuff. You know, I'm always with it. Yeah. I'm always down to like, to, to chat and talk. Like I'm, mm -hmm. I'm always with it. I don't, I know some guys are get a little, uh, get a little weird when the camera's on, which is odd considering the business that we're in, but you know, I'm, you know what? I'm it's it's always to get your name out there, and it's to have fun. That's what I love about podcasting. You know what? How long I've been doing this? Four years. It's like four years yeah. in. 
And dude, yeah, it's just fun. Good. And the stories you get behind all the wrestlers and the, you know, the talent and the whoever you had on. Like I've I've had I've had PCO fucking the Quebecer guy on. Come on, like I've, oh, I've wow. got I've had. I've had the Highlander, one of the Highlanders on. Like, I find people. It's pretty. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Schultz, Dr. D. David Schultz. Come on. Like, I oh, get, wow. I've yeah, the, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, it's, it's the love I've of had wrestling. The, I've had, well, actually, he's one of our friends, uh, one of my friends also. Uh, we've had JJ uh, McGuire. He does all, he's the original, of all the tracks for the WBF albums with. Really, with really? Uh, Jimmy cool. Hart, yeah, I know. That's like, it's, yeah, it's like he's still he's still doing it, and he's like the guy he did Thunder in Paradise theme, like that's badass, you know. Come on, oh, nobody, he did Thunder in Paradise, really? That's awesome. Yeah, dude, they paid that's him to so stay cool. on the set. They paid him to stay. They paid him to stay. Bought his clothes at Walmart. It was great. <laughs> Just, Bought his clothes. It's awesome. That's so cool. Know, it is. It is. Maybe I'll get him on here. Ooh. See, I need to like bring other wrestlers with guests, different people in, you know, which is cool. Yeah, yeah, time. Yeah. You mix it up, you know. But yeah, we'll do something after the week. I uh, see you this weekend, you know. All right. Ooh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to but see you at the show. Let's uh, close this by going like this. Bam. There you go. There's all your social media. Check out Rick Recon. For all your social media needs, you yep, know, follow see what that. follow it, like it, the whole spiel, go through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, that's much appreciated, man. That's Absolutely. we live in down by social media now. <laughs> it's like, you, you know what? I, I this technology is so easy for me. It's like there's so many programs that do this, like social media. You know, they got like OBS and this and that. But this program I found 10 minutes, I'm done. It's like twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm dude, that's that's awesome. Yeah, and I, I'm looking into stuff like that to like streamline like what I do and content and put stuff out there. Dude, again, I dude, got awesome. Content, I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, I could help you with. I could help you along with this. this is so freaking easy. A child could do it, dude. I pay two hundred bucks for a service, and they just do. It's like you click right onto Facebook Live, Twitter, Periscope, YouTube, but. Oh, YouTube doesn't awesome. work. That's awesome. Yeah, YouTube doesn't work all the time, but I upload it after, which I will yeah, tonight. Yeah, yeah. You you do a bit of pain in the ass. It's like they hate wrestling. They, they want to. They always want to shut it down and not show it. It's like don't hashtag wrestling and YouTube. Mm -hmm. They'll just kind of bury it under everything. Right, right. But when I put clips of you up, they'll be like, "All right, awesome." <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You know, which is awesome. Rick, I want to say thank you for coming on, man. And I will see you yeah, this no weekend. Problem, thank you. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll be there kicking ass, man. Good to help see mm -hmm. you. Yes. Maybe I'll be the guy that drops that hundred on the ground, right? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you, man. I, I, yeah. yeah I'll, like, I'll, slip you, I'll slip you a hundred, too, for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's going to be a fun night. It's going to be awesome. And you're determined and you're thirsty, like we said. It's going to be a great night. And have a good night. Let's call it a night. All right. Done. You too, man. Yeah, we're going. All right. You too. All right. Bye, -bye. But fans, that was awesome. What a great interview that was with Rick Recon. You know, he's entering the Rumble Titan Championship Rumble this weekend and uh Saturday afternoon. And we're ready to see him in action. He's gonna take out everybody one by one. He wants to go to the very end to get that championship at Titan. And uh Fans, if you're in Jackson, New Jersey, you know, get down to the firehouse and uh, check it out. Titan Championship Wrestling presents Mount Olympus, the final Mount Olympus Rumble, the final show of the years to close out the season till 2021. We're back in business wrestling again. We'll be live and well with lots of stuff on the rise. Lots of good stuff on the shows as well. Fans, I'm done. What do I got coming up? Well, fans, I got to put it out there. Post it tomorrow. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have professional. I'm gonna have professional wrestler, wrestler Mr. Wright, and the Queen of Hearts, Miss Wright, is valet. 
we're going to be talking to him and her at the same time and see what they're all about, see what's going on with them in the wrestling world and much, much more fans. That's it. Tune in tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Good night, everybody. Thank you for listening to the Death Match Russell podcast. You can find more Deathmatch Russell podcasts on the following social media, deathmatchrussell.com. Follow on Twitter at DavidNJ32 and on Facebook, facebook.com slash DJDaveNJ32. Instagram at DavidNJ36. Hey, wrestling fans, I want to mention Collar and Elbow. Collar and Elbow was founded on traditional values of professional wrestling. Two entities working together to create a product intended to connect with people on a, an emotional level. A symbolic relationship where one cannot flourish without the other. We strive to create a product that embodies our passion for professional wrestling expressed through street fashion. Visit CollarAndElbowBrand.com and use the promo code DeathMatchRussellPodcast and save 10% off when you make a purchase. Collar and Elbow where wrestling passion meets street fashion. Find me on Podcast City Network at podcastcity.net, facebook.com slash podcastcitynetwork. Hit the like button and share. And on Twitter at podcastcitynet. You can hear Deathmatch Russell Podcast on Stitcher Radio and on iTunes.